I'd like to talk to you today about an issue that comes up so often with my clients. As you know, I deal with a lot of contractual disputes. At the end of the day, there are a lot of things that go on outside of your contract. Life happens, weather happens, all kinds of unexpected events can change what you originally anticipated was going to happen. So how do you prove um, agreements that were made verbally is just a big thing that I see clients struggling with. I'll ask them, well, did you put this in writing? No, you know, we talked over the phone or, um, well, did you send him anything to sign? No, you know, we discussed it when we were on site at the construction um, project. And so I give the same tip to all my clients and it's just a great tip to have. It's something that attorneys use all the time because we do talk on the phone and we do have meetings in person. So how do you memorialize that? And it's very simple. You get on your keyboard and you write an email. You send it to the person you had the conversation with and you say, you know, I'm memorializing our conversation or you don't even have to be that formal, just use regular language, but make sure you detail all the points that were discussed, what was agreed on, any deadlines that were agreed upon, any terms that um, have changed, any payment, anything that really you want to make sure is set in stone, you need to put it in writing. At the end of the day, uh, if litigation occurs, or even if I'm trying to settle a case without litigation, I want to be able to show the other attorney that his client or her client agreed to do something. And the only way to do that is with something in writing. Otherwise, the other attorney is going to listen to their client. I'm going to listen to you, and it's going to be a he said, she said. So that's a really simple tip. Once you get into the habit, you will find it so easy. We do it all the time and so should you.